Virtuvės prietaisai Virtuvės prietaisai Virti, verda, viri Virti, verda, viri I'm making or I'm boiling, literally Verdu, beetroot soup Burokėlių sriuba I'm making beetroot soup Verdu burokėlių sriuba Verdu burokėlių sriuba Yesterday, vakar, I boiled or I made, vyriau, dumplings, koldūnus. Yesterday, I made dumplings, vakar vyriau koldūnus. So when you're making food and when you boil something, like you're making a soup, so you're boiling the soup, you're making dumplings, you're boiling the dumplings, you... Can use this word virti verda viri to boil, or you can say gaminti to make. Just like gaminti is used for all kinds of food to to make some food to prepare some food or to make a meal, but if you're boiling something, you can use virti verda viri. The finished action uh, is. Vir išvirti, išverda, išvirė. Išvirti, išverda, išvirė. It's a finished action. Because to boil, virti, verda, virė is a continuous action or a frequent action or an action that is repeated many times. Repetitive action. And išvirti, išverda, išvirė is a one-time finished action. A particular action in the past. One time. Ha, has the soup already boiled? Or is the soup ready? Ar jau išvirė sriuba? Jau means already. Išvirė. Boiled and soup. Sriuba means is soup. Ar jau išvirė sriuba? Ar jau išvirė sriuba? Ar jau išvirė sriuba? Or you can shift the words in this sentence. You can change the order. Ar sriuba jau išvirė? Ar sriuba jau išvirė? Has the soup already boiled? Has the soup already boiled? Ar jau išvirė sriuba? Or ar sriuba jau išvirė? The order doesn't matter here. Because you can either emphasize the action of boiling or you can emphasize the word soup. But functionally, those two different sentences ar jau išvirė sriuba and Ar sriba jau išvirė mean totally, completely the same things. Can you boil, ar galia išvirti, some water, vandens? Ar galia išvirti vandens? Can you boil some water? Ar galia išvirti vandens? Ar galia išvirti vandens? If you want to say some water or some milk, or some tea, or some coffee, and so on, you can use genitive case. Just like I explained in Easy Lithuanian video series, uh, video about, gra about the usage of genitive, part one. If you want to say some sugar, some milk, some coffee, some water, you can use the genitive case. And there's no need to say another separate word for some, like uh, Šiek tiek or truputį or something like this. There's no need to say this. You only say vandens, you use the genitive, and the native speaker automatically, subconsciously understands that it means some water. Because a genitive has this function of saying some amount of something. And if you said argali švirti šiek tiek vandens, like some, šiek tiek is some or a little, it would mean a little. So uh, the person would, the person that you asked to do so would boil only a little amount of water because you said shik diek. So you should only use genitive if you, if you want to say some water. Argali išvirti vandens. Argali išvirti vandens. Now, there's another verb for water to boil. This verb is only used 
in non-personal sentences. Like, there's no person can do this action. Užvirte. If a person, užvarda, that means he boils alive and he dies probably. Only water can užvirte, užvarda, užvirte. So this verb is only used with water. Only water can do so. No person can do so. Well, you can do, but you will die. Because no person goes to into a bath of boiling water. Užvirte, užvarda, užvirje. Užvirte, užvarda, užvirje. To boil. The water has already boiled. Jau užvirje vanduo. Jau užvirje vanduo. Jau užvirje vanduo. Or you could, again, you change the order of the sentence. Vanduo jau užvirje. Vanduo jau užvirje. So you, again, just like in that sentence with the soup, you emphasize either the fact of boiling or either the noun soup. So uh, here you also, you can emphasize the fact of boiling or the noun water. Vanduoju užvirje, just like a normal sentence, uh, just like in English, the water has already boiled. But if you want to emphasize that the water has already boiled, you know, it's like, well, not necessarily in such a dramatic manner, but jau užvirje vanduo. Somehow the stress is on uh, the fact that the water has already boiled. So, this is a non-personal verb, no person can do this action, only water. Only water can boil with this verb. Next. Virikle. Virikle. Virejas virėja. Virejas virėja. Virdulis. Virdulis. Virtuvė. Virtuvė. Virtinis virtiniai. Virtinis, virtini. Uh, virtinis means one dumpling and virtini dumplings. Arbata. Arbata. Arbatinokas. Arbatinokas. It's a teapot. Uh, this uh, virdulis is a kettle, a tea kettle uh, that that uh, uses electrical uh, electrical power to boil water and arbatinokas you can put it on uh, you can put a teapot arbatinokas on a gas stove on virikle to boil some water but if uh, it only has a plug if the teapot or the tea kettle I don't know how to call it more correctly uh, if the kettle the thing for boiling water has only an a plug you plug it in, uh, you plug, and it uses electricity to boil water, it's Verdulis. Verdulis. Now, another por uh, part of, an, uh, of a cooker is an oven. So, if you've got uh, something, just you see this picture uh, on the top you have cooker, virikle, in the bottom you have the oven, and the oven is this word. So, at first let's see what words this word is made from. Oras, oras, kaiste, kaista, kaito, kaiste, kaista, kaito, to heat up, or kaitie. Orkite. Orkite. So literally means air heat. It literally means air heat. Oven. Orkite. Now, the previous word virikle for cooker is not always used in informal speech in colloquial Lithuanian. Uh, people can also use this uh, version, this word which is made from this noun, dujos, dujos, dujos means gas, and dujine virikle, gas cooker, dujine virikle, but of course, 
no no person would say the this collocation of two words if uh, only one word is uh, possible if it's possible to say only one word so it's it's less time consuming to say doine 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 it's a colloquial version of saying gas cooker or people even may have cookers that use electricity but they would still say doine although there's no gas used so it depends on the person it's colloquial and formal speech so most often you will probably hear doine doine and if you go to a shop to mm -hmm, to a shop where you can buy uh, gas cookers you will find this these two words on the label doine viriklia but although some people could say viriklia but most people would say doine the informal version okay banga bangos banga bangos mikrobangos mikrobangos crossness crossness it's a stove or an oven like in an, in an old house you have crossness mikrobangu krosnale mikrobangu krosnale this is plural genitive remember that all plural genitives end in unosine mikrobangu krosnale bangos bangu krosnale is a little stove or a little oven literally and just like with doine people say doine most of the time people uh, don't use this long collocation and it's it's more fast to say mikrobange mikrobange although this is not well this is slang this is informal saying but you know probably you'll not hear anything else than mikrobange you'll you won't hear anyone say mikrobangu krosnale only mikrobange mikrobange so this is an informal term, the same as doing it. Schaldite, schaldo, schalde. Schaldite, schaldo, schalde. To freeze. Schalditovas. Schalditovas. Schaldiklis. Schaldiklis. Schaldiklis is a freezer where the temperature is lower than in the ref than in the refrigerator. Kreukle, kreukle, chaupas, chaupas. You will pr most probably hear kranas, kranas, which is a barbarism, probably from uh, the Dutch language or from I don't know maybe German, but perhaps from Dutch. I'm not exactly sure. It means tap. And kreukle means the same as a seashell. So sink and basin is probably the same, has the same shape as a seashell. And the name is the same. Indus. Indus. And indi means kitchen utensils. Plauti plauna plovi. Plauti plauna plovi. Inda plovi. Inda plovi. A dishwasher. In Daplovi, it's a a, a, com, a compound noun made from Indus and the third basic verb form of plow to plow na plovia verb to wash. Spintali, spintali, stalchus stalchi, stalchus stalchi, 